In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use Docker and Ansible to configure one or more users on our target server. I'm not going to create my own role for user management. Instead, I'm going to take one from the community, the single platform eng users role. I've used this many times before, it's always proven to be a good one. Much as any good software developer should, I'm going to start by taking a big copy paste from the readme. And of course, you're free to opt to type everything in if that's the way you wish to do it. The idea that I'm going for here is to have every server that Ansible provisions have one or more of the same user configured. So that's exactly what Ansible's group bars give us. By adding our configuration to the group, then any host that's in that group is going to get that configuration. Here we can see me being shamed for forgetting to add the three dashes to the top of my YAML file. Tut tut. So there's six key value pairs that we need to provide. There's username of Rancher Kate's. You can call it whatever you want a friendly name, what groups this user is going to be in, just the Docker group is all we need. And though you probably don't need reminding, that group only exists because of all the hard work we did in the previous video. The user ID, I'm going with 1001, that's the next one up from the default user. And then you can add one or more SSH keys, so if there's you and a team that need to get onto this server, add them all in here. The next key value pair could be super useful to you. To set our password in a secure fashion, we're only going to pass across the hashed version of our password. But in order to get the hashed version of the password, we need to make use of a tool called Make Password. Now you can either install this locally or in the theme of what we're doing, we're going to use Docker. So that even if you don't have Make Password installed or you don't want to install Make Password, you can still use it as though you had it installed locally, which is really nice. So looking at this Docker file, we can see that when the container runs, it's going to run the Make Password command with the flag of dash M and the argument to that has been SHA512. Now they helpfully give us the exact command to run in the readme, so I'm going to paste that in. What it's going to do in the background is because I don't have this image already on my computer, it's going to download it. And then as we've seen from the Docker file, it's going to immediately run the make password command, which is then going to prompt us to enter our password. Now you can't see what I'm typing here, but when I hit return, it's going to drop out the hashed version of what I've just typed. I need to then take that and paste it in as the value of my password inside my Rancher 2 Kubernetes nodes.yaml file. Now I'm going to live dangerously here and paste in my real public key. Shock horror, don't mail in. This is supposed to be public. It's totally fine to be public. Don't worry about it. And then I'm going to take that key and I'm going to paste it in. So what this is basically saying is the only key that's allowed to SSH in as the user Rancher Kates is this one that I'm now providing. So it seems like we've been on quite the detour, but getting back to the matter at hand, I want to make install the role of single platform eng.users. It's really nice that we can take advantage of a nice shortcut that we've created for ourselves in the previous video. And after a short download, we should have those files locally on our machine. Okay, so we've got those files on our machine. The next step is to explicitly update our playbook to tell it about the new role that we've just provided all that config for. This is as simple as typing in the role name into the list of roles that will be run when this playbook runs. After that, let's make run playbook. Now, unless you've been completing this tutorial series over a number of days, as I have when I've been recording this, most likely this will just work for you. But unfortunately, it doesn't work for me, and that's because between this and the previous video, I deleted the machine or destroyed it using Terraform and then recreated it. So as such, the group Docker does not exist, and that's because I've now put my role to install my user before the Docker role will have run. Now, if I'd have been running on an existing server, this problem wouldn't have crept in until I'd destroyed the server and then retried to run this playbook at a future date. That could have been months down the line. It's quite an interesting problem, basically. The role ordering does matter, or it can matter. It doesn't always. It depends on what comes before it. So at this point, all it takes is a change of the role order and then to rerun the make run playbook command. This time it completes successfully. And so at this stage, we should have everything from our common role, which would be htop. We should have a very specific version of Docker. That's the community edition version 170302. And we should have our rancher Kate's user, which we should be able to SSH in as actually. So let's give that a try. And we can see we've got htop. We've got docker 170302 and we're SSH'd in as the user that we created. 